After more than 30 years locked up, a man convicted of a high-profile murder on the Gold Coast is out of prison. A judge vacated Lee Harris's conviction this morning, and this afternoon, prosecutors said there's not enough evidence to retry the case. WJN's Jewel Hillary is joining us live in Joliet from the Stateville Correctional Center with the story tonight. Jewel. Hi, good evening, Lord and Ray. A few hours ago, Lee Harris was reunited with family and friends here outside of the Stateville Correctional Center in Joliet. Harris says he spent decades in prison for a crime he didn't commit, and he says he's extremely grateful to everyone responsible for his release. These two dudes is not going to get out of my sight. <laughs> Joined by his son, two best friends and legal team, 67 year old Lee Harris is a free man after serving 33 years behind bars. I'm feeling amazing. Shortly after his release, Harris's son Jermaine took his dad to get a burger on the south side. Oh, get a photo of this. Harris was sentenced to 90 years for the 1989 Gold Coast murder of Dana Feitler. I Got 90 years for killing somebody I have never seen. Harris was an informant previously used by the detectives working the case. He said they supplied information for him to repeat. Never did he imagine it would be used to convict him. Harris has claimed his innocence from the very beginning. It was times that I, I thought it wasn't gonna, we wasn't going to make it. And he said, hang in there. Harris is referring to friend and former cellmate Robert Chatler. Chatler says he's spent more than 20 years waiting for this day. I'm, I'm so happy to have brought justice to this man standing next to me. It's, it's long overdue. While Harris's release is a relief to some, it opens a wound for Dana Feitler's family, who shared this statement in part saying, 34 years ago, our daughter and sister, Dana Feitler, a kind, hardworking and talented 24-year-old Chicagoan, was randomly abducted from the lobby of her home and murdered. A person with a long criminal record was arrested and confessed to the crime. He was convicted and sent to prison by a jury of his peers for what was to be the rest of his life. We have just been made aware two days ago of his release. I really feel bad for the Feitler family. Really, I do. Because for 33 years, they have lied to them and told them they had a person that committed that crime. In the next couple of days, Harris plans to go to Texas to visit his friend Robert, but tomorrow he's planning on attending a Bulls game with his son. The Feitler family says they're asking for privacy at this time. Reporting live in Joliet, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News. Thank you, Jewel.